If you love Chevys, then this is the place for you. This is the Menard Chevy Series, where we tour the country to find the finest race cars and rides that are part of the bow tie breed. Hello and welcome to the Menard Chevy Series from US 131 in Martin, Michigan. Last year when we were here, this car caught our eye because it has everything. Fender skirts, dice, even a record player. How about that for a 1957 Chevrolet? And when we came through the gate, we caught a couple of more 57s that are absolutely awesome. The shoebox Chevys, there is a soft spot in my heart. And this one is an absolute time machine. It belongs to Don Cox from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Don, this car is absolutely perfect. Oh, thank you very much. I got this car when I was 16 years old in high school. I paid $1,000 for this car. Every nut and bolt on this car is correct, and it's been judged and scored 997 out of 1,000 points. I have a very good friend who does judging for classic Chevy, and he gave me some tips on things to do. Like, for example, the ball joints originally were riveted to the A-arms. In the factory, when they made the frames, they flipped them upside down, and they wrote with a grease pencil the part number on the frame. So that is stenciled in the correct spot underneath the passenger door upside down. It just goes on and on from there on all the details that were done to this car. Shoe box Chevys are always awesome. This one is the Rock Auto Restored Award owned by Jim Newfer from Paw Paw, Michigan. Beautiful car. And from what I understand, you put all the work into it yourself. Yes, I did. I uh, did all the body work and paint work myself, put the interior in it. And and put everything together. It was pretty rough. Uh, it was painted red and it uh, actually somebody had put a sunroof in it at one time and and uh, kind of screwed the body up so I had to put a new roof on it and did a lot of, lot of other uh, body work on it. I've been on the Hot Rod Power Tour with it uh, four or five times and uh, got put about 35,000 miles on it in the last eight years I've had it. It's got a five-speed overdrive transmission in it, a 350 motor air conditioning, power disc brakes, and so forth. Bought a lot of parts from Rock Auto. I put all the brakes, brake lines, and, and brake cables, and so forth. I bought all, everything I could, water pump from Rock Auto. I've had fun doing it. Bought uh, a new covering for the seats, and door panels, and headliner, and so forth, and put that all in myself, too. Recovered the seats, and uh, had to weld some springs on them. That, that were The springs were kind of broken on the seats, but put all that back together. What about the power plant? What size engine? It's a 350, basically a stock 350, uh, 30 thousandths over. Just had an engine rebuilt and put in it and different camshaft, but it's pretty much stock. Well, it's a uh, imperial blue metallic and it came, uh, it was a 2006 Chevrolet color. Base coat, clear coat. And I uh, just bought it at a local paint store and, and painted it. 57 Chevys are recognized all over the place and, and I get uh, lots of thumbs up. 57, the Chevrolet, uh, if you had a Bel Air, you got a gold grill and gold little markers on the side and gold emblems on the back. The other ones that didn't, weren't a Bel Air V8, did not have that. So that's, that's why the gold is on there. Sprayed it himself, welded it himself, did all the body work himself. I am very jealous. Jim, thank you very much for sharing your car with us. Congratulations on winning the Rock Auto Restored Award. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Pro Street one of the coolest styles of custom cars that you're gonna see at the Menard Chevy Series. This is Roger Gaynor from Owasso, Michigan, a great 66 Chevy Nova. This thing is mega. Thank you, thank you very much. How long have you had the car? I've owned this car for about a year. It's a, it was built about 21 years ago by David Bershave. I had to have it as soon as I seen it. I said, this is my style, this is exactly the way I'd build it. 21 years old, that is uh, long in the tooth for a car. It looks perfect. Is the paint 21 years old? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We took a uh, Best Paint Achievement Award at the Detroit Autorama, and, which is a very, very prestigious award. Those are billet specialty wheels, 20 by 15s in the back and 17 fives in the front. The, the car's actually got about 5,000 miles on it. We actually went through the suspension, upgraded all the spring rates, 
and uh, put a sway bar in the back. Oh, it's a ball. Everybody's your friend going down the road. Everybody knows you, and it's a thumbs up all the way. When the Menard Chevy Show returns, we'll show you a 34 Vicky wrapped in vinyl. Stay with us and check it out. This episode of Menard Chevy Series is being brought to you by Dustless Blasting. It's the future of surface preparation. Custom Auto Sound, the originator of classic car OEM fit radio since 1977. Flowmaster, the exhaust technology company. And by Evapo Rust, super safe rust remover. Welcome back to the Menard Chevy Series from US 131 Motorsports Park. It is a sea of beautiful Corvettes, but this one is the top dog. The Minty's Top Dog Award winner, Russ Sutton, 1962 Chevrolet Corvette. Russ, this machine is absolutely gorgeous. Well, thank you. Uh, put a lot of work into it, and it's been a fun car. From what I understand, you had to hunt down every part, every piece, take us through it. Yeah, I started with just a back tail panel section on this car and uh, went to uh, several swap meets and a friend of mine uh, had some parts so we put this car together from scratch. It's an Art Morrison chassis, uh, one of the early ones they made back uh, about 11 years ago and uh, I did all the chassis and body work. Uh, a friend of mine painted it, uh, Rick Stratton. I had the interior done by uh, Brian Bodie out of Ligonier, Indiana, but the build of the car was all mine. C1 cars are a little firmer uh, than the later ones and uh, we drive this car, uh, you know, three, four hundred mile trips. It's not a problem one way, and uh, we really enjoy it. Uh, it's a 2008 Corvette LS2 uh, with a 4L65 transmission, and uh, it just goes down the road great. I, uh, it, the car was originally built with a big block in it, and I put 400 miles on that, and out that came, and then went in the LS. So it, uh, it's really been a nice car to drive. Just been a Corvette guy from day one. And when I was 19, I bought my first 62, and uh, I've just, I've had over 20, and they're just, they're just fun cars. What are the reactions you get on the road? This thing's got mini tubs. It's like a little race car. Yeah, you get a lot of thumbs up, and uh, people that just really appreciate old cars, you know, and, and people you wouldn't think that go by and slow down and, you know, if they can catch me and, and uh, give you the thumbs up. Yeah, it's great. Well, it is gorgeous. It's a beautiful Corvette. Thank you for sharing the Minty's Top Dog Award. Well, thank you very much, and thank them. That's uh, very nice. A 34 Vicky. It's owned by John Hansen from Jenison, Michigan. John, this car is gorgeous. How did you acquire it? I bought it a couple years ago. A fellow had passed away that actually built the car, and I bought it from his wife. And uh, we gutted the interior completely. It's all uh, soundproofed, new wiring system. The dash is a one-of-a-kind piece that we actually increased the height of it to accommodate all the controls in the dash. This is a really neat car to drive. It's got plenty of room in it, and it's a 700 R4 automatic, so it's got overdrive and uh, goes down the road, runs about 2,200 RPMs, runs 70 miles an hour. Mustang 2 front suspension, coilovers in the back. It's standard street rod stuff, and it's very comfortable. We decided to uh, try something new and did a vinyl wrap on the car so that's one piece of vinyl from one door jam all the way around the back to the other door jam with all those compound contours to it. And uh, then it was the apple green pinstripe was added to it by a friend of mine. This Menard Chevy series, drivedurcell.com, crank it with the Copper Top award winner, is a real rebel. Sir, what is your name? James Dean. And this car is gorgeous. Tell us about it. It is a 30 Chevrolet three-window coupe. It's called a sports coupe. And how long have you had it? 16 years. There's a lot of unusual features on this car that you don't see everywhere. They call that a jock shifter. It says between your legs. I've never seen another car with another one like that in it. A uh, tremendous chop on it. They took like 10 inches out of it. Uh, they call it a mill slot windshield. You have to sit low in the car, otherwise you won't see out the windshield. And uh, the front of the car is up higher, otherwise it takes your sight distance out because the windshield's so skinny. So if you lower it in the front, then you won't be able to see where you're going, so. James, the 30 Chevy. I would imagine parts are hard to find. Tell me about some of the challenges. Very hard to find parts for this. Can't really find anything. Uh, it has a 32 radiator shell and a 32 hood on it. 
because I can't find a 30 shell or a 30 hood for it. So you can't really find anything for these old cars anymore. I noticed the flying eyeball very prominent on this machine. But I have kids try to find and tell me how many of them there are. And if they guess right, then you usually give them a pop or a hamburger or whatever. Maybe we'll try to find them. How many are there? Uh, eight. But I'm not going to tell you where, but yeah, there's eight of them on there. A lot of people turn their heads. Why, I don't know. I'm used to it, I guess. But uh, if the cops like it, I don't have any problems with the police. I run open headers. I have for 12 years, so they can usually hear me coming. So. so you're a true rebel without a cause. Oh, yeah. yeah. Why not? You know? Although the worst it could cost you is a ticket, so. But I haven't gotten any of those lately, so it's, it's good. It's a lot of fun. And you topped it off with a Duracell battery. Oh, yeah. It's the only thing that started. So James Dean's looking for parts. He needs a hood for his 30 Chevy. Where's he going to go? The swap meet, of course. They are parts and pieces for every car you could possibly imagine right here. It's going to take a lot of swap meets to find all the parts this guy needs to turn this machine into a Minty's Top Dog Award winner. But you never know. We'll talk Camaros when the Menard Chevy Series returns, including this stunning rally sport, sheathed in satin. Welcome back to the Menard Chevy Series. Ed Big Daddy Roth, he drew some wild machines. And we've got some wild Camaros for you to check them out. When you're at an event like the Menard Chevy Series, some cars just jump out at you and some sneak up on you. This is one that sneaks up on you. Paul Van Nuss 71 Camaro Rally Sport. So much detail, this is a looker. This is a car we wanted to do like a, a more of a dual purpose built car. You know, autocross, road race, be able to drive it on the street comfortably with air conditioning on. Uh, the rear seat in those cars weren't very functional, so we um, tried to ship some weight back there. We put the battery, the fuse relay panel, basically underneath those compartments, custom made out of aluminum and then covered in leather. The uh, first time driving it, the car really handles fantastic, and we haven't even crested the hill in the tuning, the chassis tuning yet. Um, the, the power is unbelievable. The, the motor in the car is just, uh, the shift to three to four, uh, it makes your heart stop. <laughs> As many great colors are out there, there's a lot of red, blue, black Camaros out there, and this car deserves to be something different. Yeah, it's a love it or hate it, but uh, I, I like it. It's, it's, it's something new, it's modern, it kind of gets people's attention, gets them thinking, looking at the car, and which, uh, which I wanted. Through a couple other cars I've seen built and some different ideas, I had the idea of making those functional brake ducts, moving the headlights and turn signals into the bumper using LED light strips on a hot track day. You know, the front brakes, all brakes are very hot, and it uh, even if it's minimal uh, health, it's still better than nothing. We've got a really nice rally sport here. Owned by Lila Cooper. Lila, your car is gorgeous. Thank you very much. Well, when my husband first bought it for me, it was red and white, had an automatic, it had a Pontiac motor in it. And I decided that had to go. So we put a big block 468 roller motor in it and put a Muncie 22 Rock Crusher four speed tranny in it. And it has a 12 bolt rear end with it, posi with 73 gears in it. It gets about 600 horsepower to the rear wheels. And I drive this car around. I drive it to work, I enjoy it. I just park it in the garage, I clean it. Wintertime, we store it, and there it sits until springtime. What kind of reactions do you get? I get a lot of good reactions, especially when they think it's, no, it's my car and not my husband's car. <laughs> it's Bowtie Bliss here at US 131, and we've got more GM gems for you to check out and enjoy. 1970 Big Block Chevelle, the original parts group, all original award winner. Dave Vance, you've got a perfect car right here. Thank you. When did you get it? 
about five years ago. Did it look like this when you first picked it up? Uh, generally from about 30 feet, but no, it, I did a, a lot of work to the, to the body, the paint, and uh, mechanically. I like the original, so I tried to get it to uh, try to replicate as original as possible. Well, it's a 396 big block, uh, rated about 350 horse. Uh, it's actually a 402. A lot of people don't realize that was uh, in 1970, the 396 was actually a 402, but they still badged it as a 396. And Dave, what parts did you get from OPG, and why was it important to have all original look? I got uh, valve covers for the engine, I got my brake booster and uh, master cylinder from OPG, and some interior trim pieces. And it was really critical to have those. To, uh, it, it's great that for the source of parts like that, you just can't find the stuff. This is my third Chevelle I've owned, so. You trying to go back in time? Kinda, yeah. <laughs> it feels like that sometimes, yeah. What kind of reactions do you get from people on the road? People are constantly honking at me and waving, and it, it turns heads, that's for sure. The interior looks right out of the factory, except for the GPS. Right. <laughs> well, it's, it's amazing how you know, modern technology can still blend with the old, because I feel weird sometimes driving down the road, and I, I have a GPS unit plugged into the cigarette lighter, but it, but it works. Well, you've got it looking absolutely perfect, and this is a daily driver. You drive it on a regular basis? I drive it on a regular basis, yes. No trailer coin here. Coming up on the Menard Chevy series, a really fine 409 Tri-Power time machine. Check it out when we come back. Menard Chevy series is being brought to you by LMC Truck. LMC Truck has the parts you need to keep them on the road. Z-Max, the one product for your engine, transmission, and fuel system. Original Parts Group, the world's largest source for GMA body parts and accessories. And by Clamp Tight, the clamp making tool. Welcome back to the Menard Chevy Series from US 131 Motorsports Park in Martin, Michigan. We see all kinds of crazy things at the Menard Chevy Series, and this is a great example. This is a Pro Street wheelbarrow, and it's for sale. I wonder how much my per diem is. We're hanging with Chris Ulrich, whose two-door Chevrolet Bel Air from 1960 is a real eye-catcher. Chris, what inspired you to get this car? Well, I was uh, retiring and I was looking for a project to do. A friend of mine found this car for sale uh, out of a guy from the Jeep plant in Toledo, Ohio. And uh, we went over and looked at it and decided to buy it. So we had uh, a retirement project going on then. How cool is it when you step on the gas, you got a tri-power and a 409? Well, you feel like you're 16 years old again, and you better hang on. Well, the interior is the first interior I've ever designed myself. Uh, I found a lady in uh, Michigan, Temperance, Michigan. I went over and talked to her. She said she had the original fabric from 1960 that we could do the car in. I, I gave her a design, and uh, she put an insert in the bottom of the seat, in the back of the seat, so we have a black interior with silver uh, inserts in the seats. When the Menard Chevy Series comes to US 131 Motorsports Park, the bracket racers come out to play. And according to General Manager Jason Peterson, there are also some top-notch pros on the grounds. Well, we've got a pair of top fuel cars. We've got Dominic Lagana, who is actually our record holder here. He's run 330 mile an hour in a quarter mile. Um, we have Kyle Wurzel running next to him, so hopefully we get a side-by-side, -side, at least 320 mile an hour. We've got a pair of Nitro Altereds. Uh, we've got Nostalgia Pro Stock Series here, and we've also got the Great Lakes Nostalgia Alcohol Funny Cars, along with two funny car jet cars and King of Quake Bob Moats. And in addition to everything else you've got going on here this weekend, you also have to play dad on the track as well. Yes, uh, we, we have a full plate. You know, I, I run everything here, and then we do have a junior dragster that we're running um, competitively, and we actually have a second junior dragster that we run in towards the end of the year with my oldest daughter. Since opening in 1962, US 131 Motorsports Park has worked hard to earn its title as the fastest track in Michigan. The LMC Truck Life Award has got a great story from right here in Martin, Michigan. It was once purchased from the swap meet by this man, Richard Kavner. Richard, tell us the story behind this beautiful truck. Well, we were here and selling the extra parts for another 68 that we had built. 
and for my father-in-law and this one rolled in on a trailer and then it started from there. So it's been a frame off restoration. Everything came off the truck and then repainted and redone the way it is right now. So, well, it's a 327 with a 400 turbo behind it. It's got air ride, digital dash. We put one in my father-in-law's truck and it looked really nice and it's blue tinted and it's all digital. So it worked out really well. They make a good piece, Dakota digital. Let's talk about some of the details on the truck. First of all, the turn signals, very unique. Yeah, they're uh, bow tie. They said they were blinkers, but we ended up having to do some modifications to them. But everybody wants them. I have a lot of guys who want to steal them from me. The wood in the bed is spectacular. Thanks. Uh, it's an oak bed. Uh, it's been sanded several, several times, and it's about 10 low of clear on it. So we've done a lot of work. So the exhaust system exits out the side. How did you come up with that concept? Well, I was going to run it out the back, but, but I put it on air ride. I couldn't clear the rear end, so we had to make a different location, and it worked out pretty nice where it's at. Custom interior. Uh, it went way overboard compared to what we thought it was going to do, but we've done well with the truck. We have fun with it. Truck, it seems like it is a tribute to the relationship with your father-in-law and your family. Yeah, I mean, we had a lot of fun doing it, some knuckles and things like that, but we did good. Car shows aren't the same since he's passed away, but he's put a lot of work in it with me, so it, we miss him a lot. The car show is wrapping up here at US 131 Motorsports Park, and this being my first time here, I gotta get some gear. Boy, do they have a lot. Frisbees and stickers. I want two of these, and four of these, and six of these, but how am I gonna be able to afford that wheelbarrow? If the Menard Chevy Series looks like fun, be sure to look for these upcoming events at major racetracks around the country. Next week's episode will be from the Texas Motorplex. See you then.